Hello, welcome back to another video of Microsoft Dynamics 365 Financial Operation Tutorial Series. In this video, we will talk about how to create a model. So, to create a model, what do you have to do? We have to go to the extension menu item Dynamics 365, and then you have to go to the model management, and then you have to click on this particular uh, create model. Uh, menu okay and after that what you have to do this particular screen or window will um, will pop up and here you have to give the model name model publisher layer in which layer you want to create the model then the model version uh, a model description and model display name will be uh, there so whenever you will write the model name automatically the model display name will be um, written by the system itself and other than this you have to give the publisher name and you have to choose the layer so in this drop down you will get different types of uh, layer so from that you have to uh, choose the appropriate layer so we'll use the user layer user layer okay so for now let's see that how we can fill the details okay so if you we'll click over here you can see now we have filled the details for example if you are working for a company then you just use that prefix so in my case i am working for ansari so that's why i have given the name over here okay and then uh, for which purpose you are uh, creating that model you can also give that as well uh, so as i am uh, using this particular model for creating a custom script so that's why i have given the name like this one and attached a bug id with that and model name you have to give uh, the name of your uh, publisher that if you are working for that company so they are using a specific publisher so you have to give that one and from the layer you have to select the usr and you can give the description model description over here okay and you can see the uh, model display name and the model name is same because whenever we will type it will come automatically and then you have to click on the next button okay and then from here you have to select the uh, create a new package there is a two option create new package or select the existing package so whenever you will select the new package so what it will do it will create a model that build into its own assembly and it's uh, deployed a separate package choose this option to extend the application or in this particular case what it will do uh, in this will create a model that is the part of the existing package so if you have already a package so that will be the part of this particular package and choose this option if your model requires a customization of an existing package including the overlaying or source code and metadata so in our case mostly we will use this one create a new package okay because in this particular case you can use this type of model to create a new uh, model elements and you can extend the metadata and the business logic of reference model and this uh, the wizard let you select the reference model as well this type of model is compiled into its own assembly and binaries and will simplify and reduce the cost of the upgrades uh, deployment and application lifecycle management in general and if you select the second one so what it will do you can use this type of model uh, to temporarily use legacy features such as overlaying the source code and metadata and this features is considered legacy and supported only to upgrade from the legacy version so on that case you can select this one okay and in this case the model wizard you can select the usr uh, for the layer this layer will uh, store uh, user customization if needed you can patch your customization using the us failure if there are multiple versions of the uh, same object in different layers then the top layer will take the uh, preference and will be used so you can select that layer from uh, the previous window from the parameter section okay 
now we will move to the next option that is the reference package so whenever you will select the create new package you will get this particular uh, reference package so from here you have to select uh, the reference package of whatever you require for your project you have to select all the associated reference package okay now we have to go to the after selecting you have to click on the next and uh, here you will get all the um, related information that you have uh, typed uh, so you can see uh, the details and if you will uh, click on this particular button so what it will do it will create a new project for you so if you will click on this button checkbox what it will do it will create a new project for you uh, okay and you can uh, add your element on your project that project and in this checkbox you can see make this my default model for the new project so whenever you there will be no project in your uh, Mm, there will be no project that you have created then you can select that option if there will be a project you can uh, unmark that one and you can associate it, that project with this particular model so that is the option that you can use so if you'll go to the project if you'll right click and go to the property section from the property section you can change the model option for your project but in in this case if will be it if this checkbox will be there then uh, it will create a new project and uh, uh, by this particular checkbox this particular model will be associated to the new project so so that's why uh, make this uh, my default model for the new project it will be it will have to select that one okay so if you click now next you will be able to see a new project uh, in your um, visual studio window okay so let's conclude over here that what is a model uh, a model is a group of elements such as a metadata or source file that typically constitute a distributable software solution and includes customization of an existing solution a model is a design time concept for example a warehouse management model or a project accounting model uh, a model always belongs to a package a package is a deployment and compilation unit of one or more models it includes model metadata binaries and other associated resources one or more package can be uh, packed into a deployable package which is the vehicle used for used for deployment on runtime environment so whatever i have discussed uh, uh, the definition of the model you'll be able to see that as well in the microsoft documentation you can refer that as well okay so thanks for watching this video i hope you understood that how you can create the model so see you in the next video till then take care bye bye